everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. It's wonderful to have you here and thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you just an easy way to make a mini album flip book box. Do you see how it's kind of like a little bit of a box? And I actually call it my one, two flip book box because let me just show you. You open it up and that opens up and you've got your first flip which is flip one and then you've got your second flips one and two and this is just a super really fun interactive mini album you've got this little bunny here on these awesome little pop-ups that i got from joann's they're really fun to use you've got the little doors that open up here You've got a cute little um, envelope with a pull out, and then you've got a flip up right here. So just super fun and interactive. Once again, I'm calling it my one, two flip book box, but what a darling little mini album. So let's just go ahead and get started and I'll show you just how easy this is to make. So what you'll want is you wanna start out with a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 10 and a half. Okay, 12 by 10 and a half. Now let's bring our scoreboard in. And on the 10 and a half inch side, we want to score it at one and a half, at two, at six, and at six and a half. Okay, that's on the 10 and a half inch side. Now flip it to the 12 inch side and you will want to score it at three and a half, at four, at eight, and at eight and a half. Okay, we're done with the scoring. Okay, now this is always a little bit hard to see these score lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring in a sample so that you can see uh, as we cut it, what yours is going to look like, okay? We are going to end up cutting this little section out, okay? We're gonna cut out a little uh, rectangle here and then this little rectangle here. So that is what we're going after. I thought it would be easy to, you know, show you kind of what it looks like once we get it cut out, just for the fact that these score lines are so hard to see. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate, I hate it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score, and not score, but fold and burnish just so I can see where I'm gonna cut it a little bit easier. I mean, it's hard for you guys to see my score lines, but it's also hard for me to see my score lines. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Okay, so right over here, we have the one and a half inch score. Do you see that? And I folded it so you can kind of orient your paper in the correct way. Okay, bringing back in our sample here, we are going to, there's two score lines here, one and two. On the second score line, we're gonna come over here and cut this large rectangle out. Okay, let me just kind of show you that. I think if I put it right here, that can kind of help to show you what we're going after, okay? So uh, on the second score line, once again, there's two of those. We are going to cut up that score line. And then you'll also notice right here, there are two more score lines, okay? And I'll bring this in. We are gonna cut through to the second score line. Okay, so all the way through to the second score line here and then I'll cut up. I'm just gonna fold it so I can see where I'm cutting. Okay, so there is our first cut. Once again, it was on the second score line and then the second score line here. Now up here for the top, 
Once again, we're gonna go over to the second score line and we're gonna cut out this very small little rectangle. Okay, so on the second score line, if you were coming in from this direction, one, two, cut up that score line to the second score line, one and two, and then cut up. I hope that makes sense. But I will bring in my sample and show you. Okay, so once again, we've cut out that little triangle right here, and that's how our paper's lining up. So now all we need to do is cut out this very small rectangle here. Okay, once again, there are two score lines. Let me fold this so you can kind of see. We're gonna cut up both of those score lines up to the second score line. Okay, so all the way up to that second score line, there's one score line, two score lines. Do it again on this score line and then cut that across. Okay, so there we have our little mini album. Let me just bring that in so you can kind of see what we're going after, okay? So how this folds, what's so neat about this mini album is because it has this uh, kind of chunkier spine right here, it allows you to put, you know, some, uh, really thick embellishments if you'd like. Now would be the time to take advantage of some of your thicker embellishments, which is always kind of fun because sometimes when you're making a mini album, you're thinking, I need to keep it thin and flat so my album's not too bulky. But this little spine right here allows you to put in some chunky embellishments. That folds over. And then let me just fold this one more time. And I can show you the full effect. Okay, so those fold over, that folds over, that folds over, and then that folds over. Isn't that just so cute? And that makes for our little uh, kind of flip book box mini album. So that opens up, you've got your first flip and you've got your second flip right there. Isn't that just so fun? And then, like I said, because you've got that thicker spine right here, it now is a perfect time to add some of those chunky embellishments. So I'm just gonna go ahead, um, put this on fast forward and decorate it. Once again, I'm going to be using these cute, they're called wobble toppers. Um, and we're gonna make it look uh, make the bunny look like it's jumping. And these have been such a fun addition to my crafting. I just love it. So once again, I'm gonna put it on fast forward. I'm going to add all of my fun embellishments and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, so here is my finished mini album flip book box. And that opens up, you've got that cute Easter. This opens up. And I just love using the double-sided paper because then you've got the cute pattern. Uh, that flips open and look at that cute little bunny right there. Oh my goodness, I just love those little wobbles. And then this opens up, you've got the cute little uh, doors that open. This part flips up. You've got this cute envelope right here. Shake your bunny tail. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute saying. <laughs> and then you've got the little flip up right here where that says egg hunt. Isn't that just so stinking cute? That folds down, this folds up, that folds down, that folds over, and that folds over. So I'll bring in my other one. And here you have those two really, really cute uh, flip box mini albums. So fun, so easy to make, and so interactive. I just love it. So thank you so much for joining me. Hey, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So have a wonderful day crafting 
and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.